gotta be right to become that girl. You don't want no high blood pressure. How you gonna become that girl? And you always salty and your blood pressure always up here. I be falling off the wagon, I ain't gonna lie. Wagon got four wheels, but sometimes it got two, then it go to one. Another thing that I feel like is very important and essential to becoming that girl is reevaluating your thoughts because you don't wanna, like you're trying to become that girl. So becoming that girl just to me means like positivity. Like everybody that you're around, fills your personality, fills your energy, fills your aura. And ain't nobody wanna be next to a Debbie Downer, somebody that's always like, my life is this, this. I, I be too hard on myself. And it's like, girl, chill out. What about, you just did this yesterday. You just did three videos. You just worked the whole shift. You had to give your children baths and you fed them and, and you have to get up this morning and do the same thing over again. Like stop being hard on yourself, regain control and focus on the things are doing just Today's video is on that girl period and what I've been doing to attain my self goals and um, trying to achieve the level that I'm trying to be on. So I wanted to share these tips and get into how I started or just thought about creating my own Becoming That Girl journal. So here's in my hand these highlighters, okay? So one of the things like honestly you really don't need nothing but a pen paper and a highlighter one highlighter if you have it but i use different colors just to be fancy schmancy and i have a planner but you don't have to have a planner you can use a notebook i don't care if it's a notebook so so basically i decided to use my happy notes planner and i started my becoming um that girl journal inside of the happy notes but like i say you use a uh, notebook you don't have to be fancy schmancy so uh, the first thing that i want to show y'all is this so basically i feel like becoming that girl is just about um reaching a capacity to where like in life you feel like you just that like you comfortable with yourself you feel like you are that girl you are that chick um but it just doesn't involve just looks i feel like it it's looks but it's other things like it's self-care so in my book um i listed lots of things so i listed lots of things that i feel like can be very important to someone um but for me on my journal journey so this is personal and i'm just sharing uh this with you all so one of the things that i've really been trying to do lately like i do youtube but then i work full time and i haven't really found a lot of time for my youtube videos because i'm very busy with work like so i try to i try to maintain balance and i'm like the way that i am i'm all about getting it done so i just feel like like if i don't like if I don't release my thoughts on the paper, then they're just gonna be up here. And if they're up here, then I get anxious and I get really stressed out because I carry that weight um, and it's on my mind. So I just have to release it. So I write the things down on the paper. Um, and I feel like I'm just trying to get to a point where I'm very satisfied and happy with myself and with my life. So I'm just on this journey. So. I just document everything. Um, I read a lot of self-care books because I feel like the self-care books are helping me keep control of my life. So some of these things are things that I just like got out of self-care books. Some of these things are just things that I came up with on my own. One of the things that I really uh, am trying to reach is like to create a work-life balance for myself because I feel like if you do not have the proper work-life balance then you find yourself um, taking a lot of things out on the people that are around you and they don't really understand as much it just seems like you're just in this 
negative space, but work can consume you, especially if you work in, um, I mean, however long you work. I work 40 hours and more, but it's like, it doesn't matter. Like work in general, even if you have your own business and you're just a self um, business owner, work can get hectic. So in my becoming that girl thing, like I feel like I want to create a work balance and I feel like I wrote these things down. So I want to get the proper rest to mentally be prepared for my shift because I feel like rest is just essential for the body and the mind. I want to do things that I love, like my YouTube videos, because I feel like when you get caught up in work, you just forget about doing things that you love. You forget about taking care of yourself. You just get so consumed in work. You like work, 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 work. But what about you, 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 you? So take time for yourself. So um, also, I wrote down that um, have a care, have a self care routine because I feel like like this is something that I read in a book that self-care is a necessity it's not a reward it's a necessity to have a self-care routine a work routine that will make me feel happy about waking up so I wrote that down because I feel like I don't have uh, time for myself because I have three kids so I don't ever take the time to just take care of myself so I have to start making time for myself because if I don't make time for me then who else will make time for me so I have to uh, make a little self-care routine just to make myself feel good like a little pamper thing um, that could be skincare regimen um, just anything that makes me feel good I even decided to write down things that make me feel good so if I'm like not feeling good for the day or for the moment I'll refer to those things so on this um, other side here it's just literally a, I feel good when good when I'm rested I feel good when I'm doing the things that I love I feel good when everything around me order and clean I feel good when my kids are good I feel good when I have a plan I feel good when I take a walk to do laundry I feel good when I drink wine y'all wine is like my little my little side thing but I feel good when I drink wine I feel good when I watch motivational videos or listen to podcasts I feel good when I handle my responsibilities I feel good when I treat myself I feel good when I demonstrate self-care I feel good when I listen to music I feel good when I watch my favorite TV shows I feel good when I eat the things that I love so essentially I just make this list of I feel good because I feel like if look I feel but <laughs> I really truly feel like that sometimes we forget about ourselves and we just need a, a reminder something that can remind us so when you start to feel down and you're like dang I don't know what's gonna uplift me I don't know what's gonna bring me out of this downward spiral that I'm in or this negative space I feel like you can refer to your I feel good list so make yourself an I feel good list and you're becoming that girl journal you need a I feel good list so um, definitely start thinking about those things like we don't think about those things like and how it makes sense like so I just wrote down uh, things that I just know will make me feel good so I can keep up with those things I put this down of uh, things that can help me mentally so um, the highlighters just keep it fancy and just help me highlight some certain points um, so things that can help me mentally so one of the things that I feel like can really help you is if you track um, your stress stressors and triggers and um, your reaction to them so that you can understand what is bothering you so lately I work at a call center I work from home I always say that. well not at a call center I work from home but like it's calls taking calls it involves calls and for a big 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 major company y'all like major company that something I want to give it away but something that everybody using on an everyday basis y'all all would like this is something that I do and it and it can get consuming and can get stressful so sometimes I make mistakes I'm human or sometimes I feel like I you know work is like you don't ever want to take what people say personally because it's work but I get stressed even like I have a higher up person that I have to answer to and it's just always that they're just here and you know so I started to just write these things down of what I feel even if it's like a family member even if it's a significant other anything that stresses me out anything it could be anything like I'm just naming examples it's not something that's going on but like just in case you are ever dealing with these, these things like track your stress stresses and triggers and then start to read over them like today I felt stressed when this happened um, I reacted like this and then basically this is bothering me um, because I don't like this and like just 
basically like that. It's kind of like, you know, just prompts to help you journal to become that girl. So I feel like stress is like the number one thing towards self-care. You don't want to stress yourself out. So start uh, monitoring your, your stressors. Like, um, how did this make me feel? What was my reaction? What are some ways of resolving it? How can I find solutions to the stressors? So you can know not to, you know, just have some balance. Know not to uh, get too stressed out because stress causes high blood pressure. And I know because I experienced it. So it's unhealthy and you know, you gotta, you gotta be right to become that girl. You don't want no high blood pressure. How you gonna become that girl? And you always salty and your blood pressure always up here. You know, that's what I be tell telling myself. You gotta control your blood pressure because you can't become nobody if you're, I don't wanna say the word, but if you're unhealthy because uh, being unhealthy leads to being in a hospital. You don't wanna be in a hospital, you wanna be that girl. You wanna be that girl, you wanna be outside, right? So anyways, I also feel like um, this is something that I wrote. Take a few minutes of personal time during a busy day um, so that I won't experience burnout. Listening to a podcast, watching funny YouTube videos, doing my lashes, makeup, sitting outside, and doing oracle readings because I have a bunch of oracle cards and I want to start using my oracle cards, cards for my journaling and just to keep me centered. So I just feel like taking a few minutes of time to do something can help you um, to not get drained. Like burnout is when you just like over it. Burnout is when you completely lose yourself and you mentally just not here. You just tired. You're mentally tired. You're physically tired and you don't want to get there. So start doing things and taking the time for yourself. Another thing that I feel like is very important and essential to becoming that girl is reevaluating your thoughts because you don't want to like you're trying to become that girl. So becoming that girl just to me means like positivity. Like everybody that you're around feels your personality, feels your energy, feels your aura, and ain't nobody want to be next to a Debbie Downer, somebody that's always like, my life is this, this, because energy transfers, and nobody wants that type of energy, so becoming that girl, and just for yourself, just just for yourself, you want to re-evaluate re your negative thoughts, you want to start thinking more positive, and that's literally what I've been trying to do, y'all, I be falling off the wagon, I ain't gonna lie, the wagon got four wheels, but sometimes it got two, then it go to one, and I have to get those wheels back and bring it back to four because my everything just be everywhere so it's okay to fall off but girl pick yourself up pick yourself up and just remember you're trying to become that girl and to become that girl sometimes you have to think about what's negative and change it into a positive so reevaluate your negative thinking so I also have some other tips for becoming that girl managing um your anxiety i don't know if you have anxiety but i do i get very anxious i don't like to be around large crowds of people a lot of people get on my nerves i don't want to be around them i don't <laughs> so um i just feel like um i get anxious sometimes or i get overwhelmed with the amount of things that i think about because i'm like i gotta get this done i gotta get this done my kids need this my kids need that i want this for my kids i want that for myself i want this for my kids i want this to be better i want that to be better but everything is not going to be perfect and I am a control freak, so I've been trying to control myself, and I noticed that I give myself anxiety a lot of the times. My thoughts give myself anxiety, so I started to um, manage it with these apps, like these apps that like has meditation, where you can listen to the sounds, the waves, to bring your, just calm you, just calm you. I've been needing that. So that's just a special tip. Get you an app, find you a good app. I had one app and I can't think of the name, but I talked about it in my last video. Download it because you might need it. Trust me, this is a, this app, I would just go in, in the tub, give me a hot bubble bath running, and I would be like this. I'll be relaxing and having the little meditation noises and all of that and I'll be about to fall asleep in the tub. I have to catch myself like girl what is you doing but that meditation stuff be real and then when you hear the noises something about the nature when you hear the nature or the uh, waterfalls and stuff like that it just makes you feel so good so um let's see what else have I got for becoming that girl okay so 
I feel like that's one thing I already touched bases on. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Letting go of perfectionism because, like I said, I'm one of them people that I feel like this got to get done at a time, like, and I got to do everything at one time because I like everything to be a certain type of way. I'm, I'm not that organized, but I am. Like, I literally write things down and I plan things in my mind. And I feel like this has to go exactly like this. And if it don't go exactly like that, I'm getting mad or something. But you cannot control life. And that's what I've been trying to, like... I'm learning and honestly it's a lot of things that I have like honestly like we don't like people telling us what's wrong with us we just don't we just naturally get defensive but I'm starting to learn that I can't um, not analyze or take self accountability and always be like this person difficult that person difficult this ain't going right that ain't going right but I have to start looking at myself like what am I doing to make things not go right what can I do to make things go better it, it ain't always you but sometimes you have to look in the mirror and that's what I've been doing so I've been trying to let go of the perfectionism because everything is not going to be perfect and sometimes I am bossy sometimes I am a control freak and I have to stop I have to let it go and that's just period so um becoming that girl essentially I feel like is finding the motivation to become that girl how are you going to become that girl and you not motivated how are you going to get somewhere when you can't get up how you gonna get somewhere where you lazy and you just like you can't you can't become that girl if you're not trying to become that girl so one of the things i'm trying to do is find the motivation there's something called the five second rule you count to five one two three four five once you get to five you don't question it you just get up and you do it it don't matter what it is you might say i want to go make some coffee you know just say i want to make some coffee but you lazy you don't feel like it. you tired one two three four five making the coffee like period just once you count to five five second rule Period. So that's what I'm trying to do to become that girl. So I literally be sitting there and I'm like, I don't feel like doing this YouTube video. One, two, three, four, five. Bam, do it. Like, I don't know. But that helps. So um, let's let's see. Oh, regaining a sense of control. That's something that I need to, like I said, I'm a control freak. So I always obsess over the things that I'm not getting done. Like I'm not doing this. I'm not like, I, I be too hard on myself. And it's like, girl chill out what about you just did this yesterday you just did three videos you just worked the whole shift you had to give your children's baths and you fed them and, and you have to get up this morning and do the same thing over again like stop being hard on yourself regain control and focus on the things that you are doing just like they say don't don't focus on the negatives focus on the positives uh don't focus on the things that you don't have focus on the things that you do have so you can get to where you want to be so that's essentially what i am trying to do and that's been like one of my biggest challenges because like i said i'm very hard on myself um Self-care plans, write a list of self-care plans. I'm not gonna go through this whole list, but I wrote like, I'm just gonna go like through three things. So one of the things I wanna start doing is taking daily walks. I wanna start drinking a lot of more water. I um, feel like this one was very important for me, creating a good vibe um, to my work area and um, keep doing my YouTube channel. Do not give up, like period, don't give up. Like, and um, so, what else okay so the last but not least to become that girl so i know a lot of times we just don't feel like doing nothing we have the crazy bun days we have the bonnet days and sometimes i feel like you don't want to get too caught up in not taking care of yourself you want to dress up so i'm starting to get to the point where i want to dress up and i got this now this was the best tip that i've ever gotten or or just never i never sat down and thought about this but dress this is what i wrote down from the book like dress your body like it is a piece of art be purposeful intentional and expressive choose clothes that make your body feel good when you are wearing them your body feels well cared for and feeling well cared for increases your desire to actually continue to care for yourself so that's one of the things like the the part that got to me was dress your body like it's a piece of art like i i stopped doing that like i used to always be the fashion person especially in school because i had something to get dressed for like i was not gonna go to school and not be that girl but i still need to be that girl for myself like like i was going to school like okay everybody around me is you know dressed like this i have to dress up i'm not about to go and look you know not presentable but be presentable for you be presentable for yourself treat your body like it is art because you are art. you are you are a human being and you are beautiful and you want to show people that that eccentricness that you have to yourself start dressing um and 
that's just what it is, you know? So that's something that I feel like can help for becoming that girl. Now, we are done. I know this is a long video. I hope that after watching this video, you are able to analyze some things. You are able to get that book, take some of these tips, write your becoming that girl down and start becoming that girl. Like these are things that help me, but I feel like they can help somebody else. So I just feel like pass it along. Um, I be seeing videos where they're just like, becoming that girl and then you, they take you on a day in a journey of what they're doing but you're like how i become that girl girl you ain't telling me how to become that girl you showing me how i like what to do and what you do but you ain't showing me how you got there to become that girl you already that girl but you ain't showing me how you became that girl like so i don't know i just feel like i want to make this video becoming that girl journal so you can journal to get there and then after you journal to get there you gonna be that girl because you already took the first step. You started writing it down, writing it down. You wanna be consistent with it. You wanna, you wanna be consistent. Becoming that girl is about consistency, sis, okay? But um, anyways, hope you liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe. This is very different. I can go on and on and on and on and on. So I'm gonna let y'all go. <laughs> but thanks so much for the love and the support. And as always, slay all day, period. Thank you.